Usually when we eat turkey, it's at Christmas time and it's served as the whole bird. But I'm here to show you, you can do some other things with turkey. Here I've cut up a turkey into eight pieces and I'm going to braise it with some beautiful flavours here. The carrots and the onions and the celery, tomatoes and a little bit of white wine. Now we need to seal the meat off first. So I've got two pans on. I've got a big baking tray here and that's where everything's going to go into at the end. And I've also got a helping hand from just a big pan. So a little bit of olive oil goes straight into this pan and we need to season our turkey. Now season it really well and some pepper. And you can see what I've done here. I've actually left some of the wing onto the breast because I want everything to cook really evenly. So with the breast, skin side down. So give that a few minutes until it really goes golden brown because that's going to help us develop a lovely sauce. Now while that's cooking, I can start to seal off my veggies. So make sure you use a baking tray just like this one here that can go on the stove but can also go into the oven. With our veggies, I've got some carrots and I'm just going to cut them into quite large chunks along with one onion. This is a large onion and I'm going to cut each half into four. And then for the celery, again, the same size as our carrots. Now again, we need a little bit of olive oil in the base of this, and then we can start frying our vegetables to get some colour too. So be very careful, it's quite hot. By doing this, having one pan on to seal the meat and having the veggies in the other one, it just makes life so much easier and much faster too. Now, I have some chipolata sausages here. They've got fantastic flavour. There's some garlic in there. This is going to give the dish more of a meatiness. It's going to give some salt to the dish and some more characteristics from the flavours that are in the sausages. So just give everything a toss. And just let that cook away. Let's turn the breast over now. Beautiful colour. Look at that. That is what we're looking for. And we'll just seal it very briefly on the other side. Now get yourself a large plate because we're going to take the breast out now and just place it on the plate. And then we can start sealing off the rest of the turkey before we add it to the veggies. Now that we've got some good colour on our veggies and the sausages and the turkey pieces, we can put them into the baking tray with the veggies and I'll turn off the pan, get that out of the way. And we can add our turkey breast now and you'll see there'll be some juices on the plate. That's flavour too, so that goes in. And now we can add some of the other flavours. So I've got these bright red plump tomatoes here so they can go in, spread them out. That's going to help form a really, really nice sauce. And we need to deglaze. So a good glug of white wine in there. About half a bottle and allow that to reduce before we put it in the oven. And this is where some people go wrong. You put it in the oven straight away. If you cook off that alcohol, you're left with a wonderful aroma, not that raw wine taste. So in the meantime, I've also got some potatoes. So, you know, turkey's really economical. It's going to feed a lot of people. So you can add lots of veggies to go with it. So potatoes, so it's all in the one baking tray here. And you want them to be a reasonable size because it's going to take time to cook. You don't want these to cook before the turkey. So when it comes out of the oven, everything is cooked perfectly. And then I'm just going to just peel two to three strips of orange. Some chicken stock. You can use turkey stock if you have some leftover bones, but it's actually harder to find. So plain chicken stock is completely fine. And we haven't added any herbs yet. So the herb of choice is fresh oregano here. And I'm not going to pick the leaves. I'm just going to put them in and around the dish. And I've preheated my oven to 160 degrees. Get yourself some baking paper. We'll place that over the top first. And then with some foil, one, two pieces of foil. Cover that up really tightly. And now into the oven. So this is going to cook for about 45 minutes or until the meat just starts to fall off the bone from the leg. Now the turkey has come out of the oven. I just allow it to rest for about 20 minutes before serving it. Still piping hot. 
Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? And I'll just portion one because it's just for me today. So let's get turkey breast here. I'm going to take it out. I'm just going to slice it. So we'll just do a few, maybe three or four medallions here. See how juicy that is? Let's just cut one more little piece off there. Yum. And these potatoes that have been cooking in that wonderful chicken stock and the white wine, we can add them. The carrots, they're just as delicious. So a few carrots on the bottom there. And these tomatoes, because they're just so pretty, few of those around. This sauce smells so good. If you want it to be a little bit thicker, take all the meat, all the veggies out and just let it reduce on the stove top again. Then you'll get a beautiful thick gravy. Now let's add our turkey on top of those veg and lots of these yummy juices here. Now if you like, you can garnish that with some parsley or some fresh oregano. That is better than Christmas. Only joking, everyone loves Christmas. But this is a lovely way to show off turkey in a different way.